In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of God, our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, welcome, and those joining us live stream, welcome as we celebrate Mass here at St. Anne Church and Shrine. Brothers and sisters, we take this time to acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who has signed St. Matthias, a place in the College of Apostles, grant us, through his intercession, that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, My brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand to the mouth of David concerning Judas who was the guide of those who arrested Jesus. Judas was number among us and was allotted a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, Let his encampment become desolate, and may no one dwell in it, and may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompany us in the whole town, the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed to Joseph, called by Sabbath, who was also known as Justus and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, so which one of these two you have chosen to take the place of this apostolic ministry from which Judas turned away to go to his own place? Then they gave lots to them, and the Lord fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord.
the Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising to the setting of the sun, is the name of the Lord be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high, and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust, from the dung here who lifts up the poor, to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Today, my brothers and sisters in Christ, fellow disciples of the way of Jesus Christ, the Church celebrates the feast of St. Matthias the Apostle. How does one qualify to be an Apostle? Well, the first act of the Apostles after the Ascension was to find a replacement for Judas Iscariot. With all their fears and doubts, they still focused on finding another apostle. You see, twelve was an important number to the chosen people, the twelve tribes of Israel. And if the new Israel was to come through the apostles of Jesus, a twelfth apostle was necessary. Jesus had chosen the original twelve, as we know. 
Now they had to choose, and so we are told in our first reading today, 120 people gathered in prayer when Peter stood up to propose the way to make the choice. There was one criterion. The new apostle had to be someone who had been a disciple from the very beginning. And the apostle had to have been a witness to Jesus' resurrection. And so two were chosen. Matthias and Joseph called Barsabbas. Matthias was selected and the apostles awaited the coming of the Holy Spirit. That is the first and last we hear of Matthias in sacred scripture. But how does one qualify to be an apostle? Saint Clement of Alexandria said that Matthias, like all the other apostles, was not chosen by Jesus for what he had already, for what he already was, but for what Jesus foresaw and he would become. He was selected not because he was worthy, but because he would become worthy. Jesus chooses all of us in the same way. So what does Jesus want you to become? Let us pray. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for Archbishop Gregory Amon, Bishop Ferdinand Cherry, Archbishop Hughes, all of our priests, our deacons, avowed religious, and for our seminarians, especially those who will be ordained to the diaconate on Saturday morning, and in particular, Michael Leamy, who will become our deacon intern here at St. Anne Church and Shrine. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for our president and leaders of governments and states throughout the world. We pray in a very special way for those who are in the front lines of caring for the sick, especially our doctors, nurses, hospital personnel in any way. We pray too for those who provide food for us every day, our farmers, fishermen, the truck drivers, our store workers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for those who are ill in any way, maybe people we have brought here uh, to remember them prayerfully, mindful too of our Mass intention this morning and the prayers written in our prayer book in our shrine. We pray for those who are maybe recovering from the surgery and we ask God's strength and blessing. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for those grieving the loss of loved ones, especially during this time, mindful of the fact that maybe some family members are unable to attend funerals because of isolation and restricted numbers. And so we pray for peace for them and hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Anne, Saint Joachim, Saint Matthias, Blessed Francis A. Garcias.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual truth. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias, and through them strengthen us by the power of your grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore now and for ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Gregory our Bishop, 
and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into a life of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Matthias, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be poets to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Uh, to say this command and all my divine teaching, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. A thy kingdom come, a thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and save from all this threats, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those not called to the supper of the Lamb.
those joining us live stream, I invite you at this point to join me in the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts, and through blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to a share in the lot of the saints in light, through Christ our Lord. Amen. This afternoon, well, this evening actually, from 5 p.m. until 7 p.m., our Knights of Columbus here at St. Anne Church and working with our St. Anthony Ministry to the Poor, and they're going to do a drive up from 5 o'clock until 7 on the Loveland side of church. So if you can help with um, stocking up our pantry for the poor and um, 5 o'clock until 7. Also, um, our governor and of course the Archbishop working with him is along a 25% attendance uh, to Masses uh, from tomorrow and so that will allow us uh, about 200 people for Mass for the weekend. So if you are coming to join us in prayer at Mass, uh, please be sure to uh, check our website so you can sign in online or simply call the parish office to reserve. We're going to ask everyone to enter by the main entrance so that we can clock up the number of people and then the doors will be closed at that point. So welcome to Mass once again. And um, God be with you. The Lord be with you. With May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Amen.